Hi, my name is Bill Bradley. I'm an extreme endurance athlete and this is my motivational video. The topic of today's video is get yourself a brain trust. Have you ever had something new that you were going to do and you didn't really have a good expertise in it? Say it's, you know, do your first marathon, your first century bike ride. Say you're going to create a new business or you're studying for a big exam. Well, what you may want to do, what I've done in the past, or what I do presently, is I try to get myself a great brain trust. You may want to get yourself a brain trust that has expertise in these areas that you do not. So if you're doing a marathon, you might want to you know, get yourself a brain trust of marathoners that you can go to if you have questions about your training, you know, how things are going, how you're feeling. Same with, same with business or with school, get somebody in this brain trust that are you know, at the next level above you. That's what I've done. I did it in my business when I was in the video business. I always had other retailers that I could talk to who were at the next level above me. Who, so I, that, that helps you, you know, not have as many errors, as many problems, because they've already experienced them, so it kind of shortcuts you. So what I, where I'm using this right now is in my training, and I've been doing this you know, in these extreme events, because I definitely go from one extreme event to the next, and, and a lot of times I do not have the expertise, so I try to get myself a brain trust of people who know more than me, and that's what I've been doing. So I want to share with you, uh, my, you know, as you know, I've been training for the English Channel, and this is my sixth attempt at it, you know, so I'm like, when you get to your sixth attempt, you're like, really really serious it's like I'm taking the gloves off so my brain trust what I my first the first person who gave me some advice was my coach my swim coach mostly in the pool he works on my technique and uh, and you know and we do interval training together and everything he's like great he's one of the top guys in the world for his age group in the 50 and the 100 yard he is an amazing swimmer and he's amazing he's like a scientist so he's in my brain trust right then I got guys down in San Francisco Bay that were I'm a member of, of, my, of my, the South End Rowing Club with SCRC, which is, there's some great swimmers and there's some of the best swimmers in the world, the, the endurance swimmers, the marathon swimmers, the cold water swimmers. So I'll go to them with my specific questions down there in San Francisco Bay. And so recently, what I learned from Mark, he had told me that he had been reading, you know, he's helped me out and he's mostly, like I said, he swims in the pool and he's, he's really fast, but he still, he also helps me with my research. And he says, what I've been reading is where people are doing like a three hour swim every weekend, like a minimum of a three hour swim every weekend as part of their training. So you do your interval training during the week and then you're doing your three hour swim. And so I started doing this, you know, and I'd also watched my buddy Simon. So Simon, and uh, Simon had trained for the English Channel last year, and he had done a lot of three-hour swims. I just I always remember these three-hour swims that he was doing like almost every weekend. And then you then you throw in your you know a four-hour, a six-hour, eight-hour um, as you keep you know work your way up more towards your towards get closer to the channel with the longer swims. And so I've been doing these three hours and a couple four hours, maybe two or three four hours. And then even a six hour, I've been doing these like every weekend for the last like eight or nine weeks. And finally, I remember I was just like, I, the last two weeks, I've been getting tired. I went out there and I swam, you know, I got this, this group of guys when I swim with them. And we're, I'm kind of in the ballpark when I'm definitely the slowest guy, but I'm not way the slowest guy. And so, you know, last weekend we swam out to... Um, out to past the Golden Gate Bridge to Mile Rock. It's like three miles past the Golden Gate. And I noticed the guys that I could stay with before, kind of at least keep them in my sight, they were starting to pull away from me. My body was starting to get tired. And then this last weekend we went out and we did a, I did a four hour swim where you swim down from you know the South End Rolling Club, which is kind of like downtown San Francisco. You swim to the Golden Gate with the tide and then you come back against it. Well, it took me one hour to go down to where the turnaround is. It took me three hours to get back. Well, my buddies, who were all like three weeks ago, not that much faster than me, they beat me by up to an hour. Up to an hour! And I'm going like, okay, I must be really tired. And so, so I go to my brain trust and I start asking questions. 
And the main person I, you know, I talked to my buddy Tom, who swam uh, Lake Tahoe, he's done it the most, he swam Lake Tahoe three times, 22 miles at altitude, it's a brutal swim, he's done it three different times, and he says, you need time off, Bill. And then I went to my buddy Simon, because I, I hate taking all, I had much time off, it just doesn't agree with me. And I went to my buddy Simon, who last year, he was the guy I said, who done a lot of three hour swims, and I asked him, and he says, well you might have to take two or three days off. Maybe that's all you got to take off to get your strength back. You probably don't need a lot, but you need, because I was like starting to think I needed a lot of time off. He said two or three days off. So that's what I'm going with. So right now I'm on my third day off. Um, tons of energy. I have another three hour swim tomorrow. So I didn't, didn't skip any on the weekends, but I was able to, you know, I did take three days off tons of energy my issues start flaring though when I don't train but hopefully this will snap me out of it and I will be back kicking ass and kind of staying with my group again that's what I'm hoping so anyway if you have a problem and you don't all the way know the solution for yourself if you're going after big goals big dreams you got to get yourself I recommend you get yourself a brain trust of people who know more than you know have more experience than you have and you go and ask them the questions as they come up. Anyway, if you're interested, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. You could subscribe to my YouTube account. I have big goals on YouTube. You can also, if you have a question for me, put it in the YouTube comment section. If you have a comment for me, I'd love to hear about anything you got going on. Put it in the comment section. And if you'd like me to talk, to your team, your group, your company, your organization. Send me an email at epicbillbradley at gmail.com and we will get you back some information. Thank you very much.